Welcome to the Soya Investing Channel. My name is Colin, your average retired investor searching for above average returns. Today's topic is about rule number one. What is rule number one? Well, let Warren Buffett explain this. This is an interview back in 1985. Give it a listen. Warren will be the largest shareholder of the new company, and his own net worth is now far in excess of $500 million. But when I spoke with him last fall in his office in Omaha, he very characteristically made his investment style seem so perfectly simple. The first rule on investment is don't lose. And the second rule on investment is don't forget the first rule. And that's all the rules there are. I mean, that uh, if you buy things for far below what they're worth and you buy a group of them, you basically don't lose money. So the first rule of investing is don't lose money. And the second rule of investing is don't forget rule number one. Let's look at a scenario here, okay? Let's say, for example, you have a hundred thousand portfolio starting out with, okay? And in two years, you want to get a ten percent compounded rate of return on your investment, okay? That equates to one hundred and twenty-one thousand. But let's say, for example, you have a losing year. Your first year, you made a major loss, and you lost fifty thousand. So now, your second year, you start out with fifty thousand, and in one year, you need to recoup your loss and make back one hundred and twenty-one thousand. Well, 10% obviously isn't going to cut it, okay? 100% is not going to cut it either. You're going to need 142% to recoup your loss and gain back initially 10% compounded for two years, okay? Let's look at another example. You have 100,000 again, portfolio, and this, uh, let's say, for example, now it's five years, okay? At 10%, that's 161,000. Okay, and again, let's say for example, you lose 50,000 your first year. So in year two, you have four years to go and you want to get back 161,000. Okay, well, 20% is not going to do it. Even 30% compounded, which is really hard to do, it's not going to cut it. You're going to need 34% compounded in the next four years to get 161,000. That's how hard it is to come back at a loss, okay? So how do we improve on rule number one, never lose your money? Well, in my opinion, um, one of the ways is always focus on profitable companies, okay? What do I mean? So let's look at Apple's income statement here, okay? If you look since 2009 here, if you look at the income statement, it's consistently growing, okay? There's a slight dip here, but over the long term, Every year you see it's number one is profitable and number two, it consistently, the long-term trend is increasing over time, okay? And you would compare this to other income statements, okay? You can weed out the decoys. You can see which ones are not profitable and you shouldn't even consider as an investment. Let's look at Beyond Meat, okay? Disruptive technology, you know, but you look at it, okay, losing money. So it's an easy pass. You look at GameStop, okay? It's profitable, but then it started losing money, okay? Easy pass. Can't be growth. Marijuana stock, very easy pass, okay? You look at Palantir, okay? Not enough history, you know, very easy pass. It's a too hard pile. Will you lose opportunities? That can make money for sure, absolutely. But can it also prevent you from losing 50 to 100 percent of your investment? Absolutely. Have looking at profitable companies can safeguard you from this. You look at SoFi, another IPO company. Not enough history. Okay. And you look at Costco. This income statement. Costco. You can see Costco grows over time. You know this here's one that's profitable. So this would be on your watch list. Okay. It's hard enough as it is to, if you were to buy a business in real life, okay, would you rather buy a company that's profitable or would you rather buy a company that's losing money and may make a profit, okay? I would pick the one that's actually profitable. And yes, because you look at businesses, you know, 80 to 90% of businesses fail, okay? And the second thing I want to mention is that, let's say for example, you did buy Costco, okay, but you bought it at a high price. You dollar cost average in, but you still were buying at a high price. But time is a friend to a wonderful business that has consistent, predictable earnings growth over time. Okay, this increases your odds of success. Okay, 
and helps improve rule number one, right? Uh, if you buy things for far below what they're worth and you buy a group of them, you basically don't lose money. So that's the second point I want to make is that if you buy a group of companies far below what it's worth, it, you basically don't lose money. That's another topic for the day, but for now, let's remember rule number one. And rule number one again is don't lose. And the second rule on investment is don't forget the first rule. And that's all the rules there are. I mean, it... that's all the rules there are. So I hope you learned something. I hope this resonates with you. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for your time.